You're welcome. This is Think Tank with Lorech and today we're talking about visas. Mm -hmm. Visas. Did you know that you are a consular officer? A lot of times people want to travel to another country and so they have to put their documents together, get prepared for an interview, a visa interview so that they can be admitted into the country that they want to visit or live in, as the case may be. There is so much involved with the preparations, with the plans, with the putting together of these documents, you know, depending on the country that you want to visit or you want to go stay in. There are actually people that even, you know, uh, charge fees to help you put all these documents together some charge so high others are reasonable but a lot of people are willing to pay for somebody else to actually help them put the documents together why because they don't want anything missing they don't want anything that will jeopardize their chances of getting their visa application approved did you know that you are a consular officer? Especially if you have discovered your purpose for being. Another question, did you know that you were not here on earth all by yourself? You were actually sent here on a mission. Yes, you were made by God for a purpose, amidst being a doctor, an engineer, a lawyer, a teacher, there is a divine orchestration of you being here for a purpose. A consular officer is one who represents the interests of the country that has sent him somewhere. You are supposed to be representing the God that gave you life here on earth. Have you been doing that? Are you actually representing God or representing your personal interests? There are some people that work with uh, multinational companies, you know, big organizations, and they proudly put the pin up, you know, wherever they're going. You know, you're very proud of where you work. You're very proud of your associations. You're very proud of who your boss is because it's a reputable firm. But how about the ultimate assignment that you have been given? How proudly are you representing the one that sent you? This is why the scriptures say, Go ye therefore and make disciples of all nations. We are supposed to be making disciples of men and women and boys and girls for Jesus Christ. Who are you really representing? When people come to you, when people meet you, whether it's a business transaction or not, whatever it is, what do they live with? What do you leave them with? You are a consular. You were not here on your own. But you know what? If you don't know, you're just going to live like the rest of the people in the world, not realizing that you are actually a stranger on earth and you're meant to be representing the one who gave you life. Whether you believe it or not, there is more to life than waking up every morning to go to work and to come back. There is a whole lot more. There is life after now and we're involved in eternity but to different degrees. So today, I'm asking you, how has it been issuing out visas? Are you issuing out only visas for Earth or you're also involved with getting people ready 
for the life after. Jesus is coming soon. It's not business as usual. Think about it.